Kid shows have a long history of hidden propaganda, messages, and inappropriate innuendo. Sometimes it's easier to spot than others, but many people over the years have picked up on it in all sorts of places. Parents usually hope most of the things they're letting their kids watch are safe, but are they? I'm Mike with List25, and here are the 25 most inappropriate secrets in kids shows. Twenty five Boy Meets World Halloween episode. Boy Meets World, for the most part, was a wholesome kid sitcom, but the Halloween episode frequently pushed the envelope. In it, Sean, writer strong, says in horror movies, virgins don't ever die. To which Corey tells Topanga, All right, thanks for saving me. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Well, I'll, I'll get as sick as you can get without actually dying. <laughs> yeah. We didn't need to know any of that. That rule's outdated anyways. 24. The Toy Story Hooker. Remember when Woody and Buzz were Sid's prisoners and they met all of Sid's deranged and mutilated toys? One of those toys was seemingly a Barbie doll's legs attached to a toy fishing rod. If you're not sure where this is going, I'll spell it out for you. That toy is a hooker. He was a middle school kid. Middle school kids do that. Do they? Yes. Oh, okay. 23. Hey Arnold and Helga the Stalker. Hey Arnold was a hip cartoon on Nickelodeon back in the late 90s. Targeted mostly to young kids and tweens, the show dealt with various childhood issues, but frequently snuck in hidden innuendo that might go over kids' heads. Helga is a prime example. She secretly stalked Arnold, collecting old gum and making a statue of him out of it, taking locks of his hair, and said while watching him, Arnold, you make my girlhood tremble. <laughs> Neat! 22. The Powerpuff Girls were the professor's accident. In one episode, when the Powerpuff Girls bring a friend over, Bubbles explains to a friend the professor made them by accident in his laboratory. The professor says, well, what can I say? The friend replies, Don't worry, Professor. I was an accident, too. 21. Shrek and Donkey at Lord Farquaad's castle. In Shrek, while Shrek and Donkey stand in front of Lord Farquaad's rather tall castle, Shrek says to Donkey, Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? <laughs> Do we go into his name later on? Farquaad. Yes. I don't believe so. Oh, well, we should discuss that. <laughs> 20. Rugrats and the Lonely Space Vixens. Rugrats was a classic Nickelodeon cartoon about babies going on various adventures. Grandpa Lou Pickles frequently babysat for his son and daughter-in-law. In one episode, he rented a few movies for the kids and one for himself called Lonely Space Vixens. <laughs> uh, that's for after you go to bed. Yeah. Now my memories of Rugrats are ruined forever. Thanks, Grandpa Lou. Classic Grandpa Lou. Oh, Lou Pickles, you rascal. 19. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Blink and you'd miss it. In one episode, Double D's mom leaves several notes in the bathroom, like flush on the toilet. One sticky note, however, reads, don't touch yourself. 18. Animaniacs hit on Prince. Animaniacs frequently pushed the innuendo envelope, including Yakko and Wacko crying out, Hello, nurse! Anytime an attractive woman appeared. To add to that list, in one episode, Yakko tells his sister Dot to dust for Prince. Later, she comes back holding the pop singer in her arm and says, I found Prince! No, 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 finger Prince. I don't think so. <laughs> 17. Looney Tunes and Yosemite Sam's Imprisonment. Looney Tunes itself is just one inappropriate cartoon message, but the episode Carrot Blanca that jokes about prison rape really takes the cake. As usual, Bugs Bunny tricks Yosemite Sam into going in a prison cell. Waiting inside for Yosemite is a fat, scary, sheepishly grinning prisoner with his finger up to his lips who looks like he wants something. Yosemite looks horrified, realizing what the prisoner is after. 16. The Fairly Odd Parents and the Paper Towels. Many moments stand out as inappropriate messages in The Fairly Odd Parents, but none more than the moment Timmy held a roll of paper towels in his hand and said, 
I'm just gonna take these towels up to my room alone, so don't bother me. 15. Harley Quinn Pie In the episode Beware of the Creeper on The New Adventures of Batman, Harley Quinn rises from a giant pie in front of the Joker. Covered in the pie, she says, Wanna try some of my pie? I'm sure you'll want seconds. How in the world did this make it into a kid's TV show? 14. An Arthur Close Encounter If you thought certain cartoons like Innocent Arthur wouldn't make this list, think again. In the episode The Contest, which was an idea submitted by an actual viewer, Arthur parodies several other popular cartoons at the time, including South Park. Why the writers thought it would be a good idea to combine these two polar opposites is beyond me. However, it gets worse. The South Park episode they parodied involved Cartman being abducted by aliens and getting probed. Thankfully, the writers of Arthur didn't take it that far, but they sure got close. 13. Justice League Casual Conversations Superhero cartoons are full of short quips and snappy comebacks, but they get into inappropriate territory. In one episode of the Justice League cartoon, The Flash says, Fastest man alive, to which Hot Girl quickly replies, That's why you can't get a date. 12. Catching a Ride on Batman Beyond In the Batman Beyond episode, Golem, Nash and Bobby are strolling at the mall when Nash says he's sick of it and asks Bobby, How about a ride? You like that car more than me. Who's talking about cars? She was, Nash. She was. 11. The Mysterious Coin Slot An episode of SpongeBob SquarePants involves SpongeBob taking ownership of a seahorse he names Mystery. Unable to care for her while he's at work, SpongeBob ties her up outside the Krusty Krab. After he's gone inside, a regular customer approaches the restaurant and believes that Mr. Krabs has installed a quarter-operated kitty ride. Deciding to try it out for himself, he looks for the coin slot. I can't find the coin slot! Here it is! 10. Barney takes things too far in the Flintstones. The Flintstones was a classic cartoon and one you normally wouldn't associate with hidden messages. However, in one episode, as Fred and Barney are shopping, Barney says, I think I'll get something that makes me look taller. Fred replies, How about another head? <laughs> another one? What do I need three of them for? <laughs> Before you said the Flintstones, I thought this was going in a very different direction. Same. 9. The Lion King poster. Disney has always been accused of hiding subliminal messages in their cartoon movies and posters. As you can see, this poster of The Lion King will scar your childhood memories for life. Ah. There's no way to unsee this. Wait, was that a pun? 8. Johnny Bravo Johnny Bravo is supposed to be a smooth Elvis type, but occasionally they threw him down in the gutter. In one episode, he was invited over to a birthday party by a little girl named Susie, to which Johnny replies, I am busy. Call me in 15 years when you're a co-ed. Not cool. Using the show is cheating. I, I didn't write the list. 7. SpongeBob SquarePants and the Krusty Krab I had to bring SpongeBob back one more time. This particular hidden message is kind of low-hanging fruit, but it bears mentioning. SpongeBob lives in an underwater town called Bikini Bottom. He works at the Krusty Krab. The Krusty Krab in Bikini Bottom. Take a second to think about it. 6. Dexter's Laboratory and the Dancer Dexter's Laboratory is about a young boy genius consistently being sabotaged by his sister Dee Dee's idiocy. In one episode, he gets rid of Dee Dee and replaces her with a much older, attractive blonde woman. After telling the woman he'd like to see her dance, the woman replies, okay, but it's 50 bucks extra. 5. Spider-Man's webs mean something else. Spider-Man's known for his snarky jokes, getting under the skin of any villain that crosses him. However, in this one particular episode while fighting the Black Cat, the writers of Spectacular Spider-Man make a semen joke about his webs. 
While shooting one of his webs at the black cat, hitting her hand, the black cat says, Oh, you better not get your goop in my hair. Don't worry, it comes off with ice or peanut butter. Lovely. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man suddenly takes on a whole new horrible meaning. Four, Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life was the precursor to SpongeBob SquarePants, except arguably dirtier. For instance, Rocco visits the office of Dr. Bendova at one point, and also visits the place with the sign that says, Demo Pit Jack All You Want. But it's the really questionable gestures that Rocco's friend Heifer makes under a sheet that puts this show in an outrageously inappropriate territory. Three, Tiny Toons Stealing Beer. Tiny Toons was the 90s spin-off show of Looney Tunes, dealing with the smaller, childlike counterparts. In the episode, One Beer, Buster steals a beer from his parents' fridge and tries to peer pressure his friends into drinking it. The constant references to alcohol eventually got the episode banned. Two, Happy Feet Penguin Positions. Happy Feet is a beloved children's movie about penguins in the Arctic. Little do parents and kids know the very subtle, quick, and inappropriate sexual positions referenced during a fight between two of the penguins. While they're sliding around, the penguins make the positions before a larger penguin knocks them both into the water. 1. Frozen Foot Size Frozen has been one of the biggest Disney cartoon hits within the last few years. Every parent in the world is still trying to get the hit song Let It Go out of their heads. Seriously, parents, let it go. Ha! Most consider it a pretty clean movie. However, in the scene where Anna and Kristoff are riding in the sleigh, Kristoff asks Anna a slew of questions about her new boyfriend, including Foot size? Foot size doesn't matter. I'm going to let you figure that one out on your own. I got to see Adina Menzel sing live. I haven't seen Frozen. It's good. Is it? Yeah, it's great. Okay. I'm not obsessed, but it's great. Uh, You'll enjoy it. You should sing some songs. I don't sing. Let's spill the snowman. <laughs> That's from Cannibal the Musical. That's not Frozen. Better snowman song. Maybe. Somewhere over the rainbow. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the bottom right so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these three videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.